Now, Lana, you know the saying that goes behind every great man is a great woman. Absolutely. Well, I'd like to change that today, okay? Okay. Because much like Tom Brady and Giselle, I would say beside every great man is an even greater woman. Would you agree with that, Lana? Absolutely. Well, (laughs) we've had the boys, Preston and Chris of Low Cash, on this show many times. Great dudes. Mm -hmm. But today it's time to not only meet the brains of the operation, but also the inspiration for low cash songs, the women that hold it down while the boys are out being rock stars, the women that make sure that these guys get to chase their dreams, the women that, who make sure that these dudes don't show up to a concert look like a bunch of clowns. <laughs> <laughs> it is our honor to welcome Preston and Chris's wives, the ladies of low cash, Woo! Kristen Bruss and Caitlin Lucas. <laughs> Now, you guys are making us feel like rock stars. Well, you guys really are the rock stars of the entire thing. I've met you both, got to hang out with you both. I, I've seen how the whole operation goes down. Obviously, the brains are on the phone with us today. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. You forgot right. one part, JR. You forgot one part. We fulfill all the riders at home as well. Oh, that is true. Very important. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is a good one. We'll add that to it. <laughs> it's a big job. These ladies are busy. Yeah. No, listen, ladies, we wanted to have you guys on. Obviously, Valentine's Day. And, uh, you know, we get to talk to the boys a lot. But um, you guys are just as cool, just as fun. And uh, I'll start with you, Caitlin. Did you have any saying when it came to planning this show and kind of having that Valentine's Day vibe at Starkey Market? Give us some inspiration. You know what? I think that it all just kind of worked itself out the way it was supposed to, like, February in our in our house is just like a month full of just love because like our anniversary is the week after Ooh. and it was just kind of seemed appropriate just to like have like a backyard hometown show like my hometown show at least and just kind of bring our families and Kristen's coming down with the kids and it's just going to be great like all right very nice now Kristen uh, obviously we, are we traveling with the kids are we bringing them out we are traveling. I actually was just shooing them out of here because Preston has one job, just one job this morning. And that is to keep them quiet? <laughs> keep them away. And they just started rolling in. I'm like, y'all are always finding me. Um, we are coming down with the kids. Oh, cool. Because oh. Starkey Market School has got that big grass field. I'm sure they'll be going nuts and having a having a blast. I just I just love, though, that, you know, Chris and Caitlin, you know, they just hang out in these local places here in the, in the Tampa Bay area. Yeah. So what other places do you guys uh, like to hang out at? Yeah. So we actually go to Four Beaches a lot down in Hyde Park. It's oh, kind yeah. of like our vibe. Um, the food's fantastic, but I mean, it takes a lot to kind of get me out of my little comfort zone. So if I'm not at Starkey Market, I'm usually like, you can find me at Four Beaches. Right. Nice. I hear you. Cool. Right. Now, Kristen, yeah. Kristen kind of hangs out with the you know the Nashville royalty. Right. I mean, she's in there. She's rubbing shoulders with everybody you can think of. No, All lucky. Right. Yeah, big time. Uh, so, Kristen, uh, you, I mean, who's like the most famous person on your phone? Uh, you. Oh, oh, Someone's trying to get a free tab over there at Starkey Market. <laughs> and don't let Caitlin fool you, by the way, either, because the reason she's going to Fort Beach is because she's having dinner with the Gronks. Oh, oh yeah. You're that's kind of cool. that one out there, huh, JR? Oh, you oh, Lisa, you're really? That gets dropped in text <laughs> all the time from you guys, so I know that for a fact. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, we're just messing with you. It's, it's essentially our new greeting. We're like, I'm like, hey, Kate, Gronk. So what are you guys up to today? Uh, uh, it in every weekend. Yeah, if you're not hanging out with the Gronk, say, would you guys want to hang out? Yeah. Perfect. Book it. We're going to do some rapid fire questions, ladies. We're going to go back and forth between the two of you. Uh, we will start with Caitlin. Caitlin, here is your first question. Yeah. Where did Chris take you for your first date? And how did he ask you out? Oh, they are. This is not, this is a kind of a trick question because there was two years of Chris stalking me before our first date. (laughs) I wish I could tell you it was romantic, but it definitely wasn't. We actually went to Arby's and I paid. Wow. Crew this guy out of the building immediately. I love Uh, that. Yep. And All he right. won you over with that, huh? Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was two years of Chris stalking me. Yeah, I think it was the curly fries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I like that, and I like that that's out there yeah. on the air for everybody. That was great. Wow. Perfect uh, answer. Yep. All right, Kristen, recently you celebrated a B-Day, and Preston had a pretty elaborate plan. How did it start? How long did it go for? And how did it end? I know there was like a lot of clues that kept coming, right? Yeah, it was crazy. It was my 40th birthday this year. So um, I kind of laid low on my own planning because I'm real A-type. And I was like, I'll just see what this guy's up to. So 
New Year's Day, it started with breakfast in bed served by the babies. And I got one envelope. Um, Every envelope was written like a lyric, and there was 40 envelopes. So it started the New Year's Day and ended on January 4th. My birthday is January 3rd. So it was, you guys, it was really, it was really cool. Um, He, everything from like my favorite Starbucks drink to new jewelry to a trip to Fort Lauderdale to see some of our friends down there and go on the intercoastal. It was like, honestly, like one of the most selfless non-artist things that's ever happened in our house. It was so awesome. I love um, it. He, he did a terrific job. And then every card was written like lyrics. So I love it. What a romantic uh, Preston is. You guys didn't swing by yeah. an Arby's, did you? <laughs> you know, we didn't uh, through Starbucks for sure. But he planned like the, the child care and like he got, he had my friends here to glam me up that morning. I mean, it was pretty awesome. I feel like a Kardashian. It was pretty awesome. All right. Well, thank God you're not a Kardashian. First point goes to Preston. Yep. Uh, yeah, here we no go. kidding. Wow. <laughs> All right, Caitlin, I'm just messing with you. Here we go. Where did Chris propose and how elaborate was it? Man, Chris is just really going to hate these questions. <laughs> um, so we were actually in my parents' house, and we were all in a circle because the boys had a show at the Roundup that night. And I should have, like, known looking back now. But, like, my family was there. His family was there. I'm pretty sure Preston's mom and dad were there. And we were all about to eat, and we all, like, sat in, stood in a circle, and Preston led the prayer. And it's actually, like, an ongoing joke, like, we think that, like, Preston, like, thanks the water that was in the pool and the patio furniture. And, like, it, it was so long that my mom actually walked away to go check on the food because she thought it was burning. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris is shaking. I'm like, what is going on? Why? I mean, what's going on with Chris? He's like, his hand is, like, shaking. And then he stops Preston's prayer short and gets down on one knee and proposes in front of everyone. Oh. And it's just really sweet, intimate, but... Um, yeah. That's beautiful. I think that's great, Caitlin. I, I think oh that's my gosh, awesome. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give him half a point. Oh, I'm just kidding. Half a point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, that's All right, so here amazing. we go. Kristen. Kristen, has Preston ever forgotten a B-Day, Valentine's Day, or an anniversary? And if he has, how did he make up for it? Um, he has. Well, you know, he doesn't ever forget, but I also am pretty kind about giving him, like, the old 48-hour heads up because he's not a calendar guy. <laughs> yeah. So. I would say I have not forgotten any of those things. I have not forgotten to remind him of any of those things. If that <laughs> helpful. All right. I like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Know your people. Love them well. Like, I don't want to see him fail. <laughs> men, oh, hey, buddy. You know what, though? That's great because men just need to be reminded. Otherwise, we are going to get hurt. What would you say? Thanks, men. Lauren. I'm just kidding. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, Caitlin, what is your favorite low-cash song? Oh, I'm going to go with Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Look at this. Pro- promoting the new album. Yeah. I love it. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. Real quick, we were just in Mexico like two weeks ago, and it was the first time I really saw it live in front of a massive crowd. And I will forever, ever, ever be thankful for I Love This Life because it really was the song for them that just Mm -hmm. made America know who they were. But the chills that I got when they played that song, I can't even describe. Like, I cried and got chills, and I think Kristen, Kristen was there, so she knows exactly how I felt. But um, I'm going to go with Beach Boys right now. All right. Now, I love Caitlin, that. Did, did those tears have anything to do with the endless amounts of tequila that were being consumed? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. my drink. Crash my play. <laughs> I look like a good time. All right, Chris, yeah. I'll ask you the same question. What was your? What is your favorite low-catch song? Okay, so mine is actually Shipwrecked. Okay. And it's a really early on song, but it was the song that Preston played for me the night we met. I really fell hard. And then we also, um, it was the song I walked down the aisle to. Oh, so it was super, super awesome. special like to us. That. It's Very a really cool. special song. But if it's not shipwrecked, it's Beach Boys. And don't go. forget to add it. Plug in the EP. Let's just keep going. Wait, I can't believe that you're not going to ask them the big question. What's the big question? Oh, geez. Is Gronk going to still stay on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, don't put him there. Don't him put him there. Don't put him there. No, 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 no. We ain't doing oh, false man. information like the Brady's did. We're not doing that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought the real question was going to be, are you guys bringing me a Valentine or what? Well, obviously. Uh, there was an ah uh, there. Mm. Uh, uh, obviously. I'll import one. Okay, very cool. In part one. <laughs> uh, hey. Thank you, ladies. This was fun. I love you guys. So awesome. For supporting our family. Of course. You're the reason we get to live in our houses and send our husbands away so we get breaks from everybody. So we really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks and for you. loving them well while, while they're on the road. Oh, and remember, every time you download Beach Boys, every Beach Boys album comes with an Arby's gift card. So uh, that's very <laughs> yeah. exciting, too.
That's a good one, JR. That's a good one. Hey, do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs>